Oh, what can I say? Classical music gets my motor running. Yeah, we'll drop it to second speed racer. Let's have a little crime oh. first. <laughs> messing around, all right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, yes. Hold on. <laughs> you never know how thick or thin to make these. Thanks. Allow me. Hmm. <laughs> Ladies first. Oh no, you did the work, you get the reward. If you insist. Ooh. Shit. 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 Just, just play cool, just play cool. Shit. Just, just play cool. <laughs> Sir, you're gonna wanna put the drugs away and step out of the car. They're not my drugs. Which drugs? The ones on your mirror or up your nose? You think I own a makeup mirror? They're all hers. Not what she's saying, and she wasn't holding it. And she already offered up blood and urine. Do you want to offer up blood and urine? Listen, officer, I hate putting it this way, but do you know who I am? I do, actually, Mr. Boyd. And I know that woman in the car wasn't Mrs. Boyd. And I have a special distaste for people who don't appreciate the sanctity of marriage. I also know you work for Senator Lavoy. But when I ran your name in the system, it set off bells and whistles at the local FBI office. They sent a couple of their boys down here just to talk to you. And it seems they don't care who your boss is. Special Agent Jack Margrave. This is Special Agent Blake. Lieutenant Oscar Finley. Yeah, I'm not talking without my lawyer. You want to lawyer up? Fine. Call him. I will. And they'll have me out of here within the hour. Hmm. You know, that's just going to be too late. Because by the time they get here, we'll already have the story of a senator's legislative director in the wrong woman's car with a snout full of booger sugar on the front page of the Globe and the Herald. You see, this is not college or law school, son. You're not some spoiled rich kid barely rocking a C plus. You're a beltway man now. The kind of guy that people enjoy knocking down a peg or two. So these charges, they're not just going to get swept under the rug. We're not going to let them. I don't know why. OK. Why? Because we don't like you. I don't even know why you're here. We're here because we want to know everything there is to know about Little Wing. I should probably. You should. Yeah. I'm going to call Mr. Boyd's wife. Oh, she's probably worried about him over in DC. Worried sick. You know, happy wife, happy life, huh? OK, fine. Hello? Wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> 